Oh uh, yeah, Uncle Bullcow. I'm back finally. Um, haven't posted any videos in a while, so but I have tons of pods to review. Thanks to my brother, Chris Miller, Miller's Savory Seasoning, Miller Time Family Foods and Gardening here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, he sent me some peppers that he grew. Uh, he sent me some peppers that Tony Sherwood grew and Tony some of Tony's crosses. So <clears throat> I am excited. I'm excited. I got a breakfast here. I, 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 let me tell you something. I had the yellow version. This is the orange version. I had the yellow version of this pepper last year. And it was one of the best. Also, on top of that, good morning. Where's She's upstairs. Don't wake her up. She's sleeping still. Let her sleep in. Liza, don't wake her up. I already know. Um, so, this is the orange version. This is the Carbon Narrow. Tony Sherwood crossed this. And this is a cross between a carbon boot, uh, seven pot yellow, I believe, and then that crossed with a habanero. Come on. <clears throat> and I have the best breakfast. This right here is Mrs. Bullcow's garlic biscuits with gravy, some eggs over sleazy. Um, man. Man, when Chris said he had called me and he told me about that he had some of these and, and he said, I'm going to send you some. And I was like, oh, yeah. So Carbonara Orange, Tony Sherwood via Chris Miller, Miller Time Family Foods and Garden Miller Savory. Ow, 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 ow. Mmm. Mmm. Citrusy right off the bat. Definitely hotter than a habanero. Look at I haven't even gotten them placenta yet. Whew. No floralness, no bitterness. Mmm. Citrusy, zingy, fruity goodness. Wow, guys. That right there is a top-notch pod. You freaking guys know I'm a yellow pod guy. Yellow pods are my favorite. Orange pods. Um, red pods, I like, I don't know, 50% of them that I've had. I like more than that, but you got a lot of them are floral. Chocolate pods, eh, there's like two out of... 50 that I've tried that I like. Peach pods. Ah, not as bad as chocolate pods, but they kind of fall in that. I like the citrusiness of peach pods, um, but they do have bitter and floral. And um, I just, I like as little of the bitter and floral as possible. Mmm, 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 mmm. That right there is top notch. Wow. I actually have a cross that Mr. Sherwood created growing in my in a pot out in front of my apartment. It's uh hold on, I'll show you. Carbon boot bubblegum seven. Now, this is not from my plant. Uh that plant hasn't started producing fruit yet. This is from um Chris that he sent me of Tony's. Got the bleeding calyx. I do have that growing. Um, I only got one plant. My growing partner has a few though. So that pepper's gonna light me up. I already know. I already know anything that's crossed with a bubble gum is bad news to the bull. So, orange carbonara. Wrap up. Hotter than a habanero. Probably about as hot, maybe as a yellow ghost, a little bit hotter than a fatality. Although you get fatalities that'll creep up into this range at some point. So, overall, 10 out of 10 on flavor on that pepper right there. You guys don't hardly ever hear me say that. 
on a heat scale, I don't I don't go off pain tolerance, guys. In case you know, you already know. I go off Scoville units. One being the mildest pepper that I can detect heat in. Maybe a good black jalapeno or something. I don't know. Ten being like a hell hammer, prima tally. Um, this is, I think, in the four range. I think that's probably about 400,000 Scoville units. And um, give or take. But uh, man, what an excellent pepper. Thank you, Tony, for uh, crossing that thing. And uh, thank you, Chris Miller, for sending me that pod. Let's review another one. Rawr.